Here it easy. So we got the, and this can go anywhere, but. Okay. Basically, have a timer. It's going to go into a bunch of droppers, right? Yep, droppers. And some sticky pistons, which pull the items up, or we could just use regular pistons to. Wait, can we use regular pistons? Think about it. Think about it. Can we use regular pistons? No. We'll have to have sticky pistons. Okay. Alright, let's get some sticky pistons. So we actually we got a sticky piston. Hello, Mr. Sticky Piston. Okay, so we get some wood, iron. Stone. I remember making some of these the other day too. I don't know what I did with them, but oops. Okay. Poop. Get the poop out of our inventory. And we'll just throw a bunch of these onto the ground. It'd be cool if we could like shift and right click and it would do like a, a stack of them every time. Cheaty method, sticky pistons. Make uh... oh, that's right. I did. Uh, I was making the force relays, and since I got you watching, Basky, what's what's up with the force relays? How how does one use those? Because I cannot figure it out. I tried like using a piston to push into the force relay, but then it just pushed the force relay and didn't do anything to the block that it was supposed to be bound to. Maybe I was just horrible with binding it to a block, though. Who knows? Hack and a half, huh? Let's see. Some of those. Some droppers. Sticky pistons. Put away the good pistons. Um, what else am I missing here? Oh, actually, so I can trigger them with the red string dispensers if I want to. God, you know what? I think I just figured out why it doesn't work. If you have to right click then it's probably like interfering with like Gany Surface Mod or something where when you right click with any tool, well that's a bad example. Um, no, I guess it doesn't do with the Batania one. But like this, we'll place Living Rock. Usually. Let's get out of torches and put them. No? Is it the other way around? This one? Maybe they fixed that. Crazy. Alright. Back to this thing. This wonderful, wonderful thing. So we're gonna have sticky pistons. Signal to each of those. Yay! 
yeah, let's, let's, we can, I had, uh, we'll see if I'm doing it wrong. I'm probably definitely doing it wrong. Uh, here. Force relay, regular piston. Yeah, we'll, we'll say a lever. So, like, I have piston going into the relay, right? Um, and I got my wand in bind mode, so I'm thinking, like, say I want to move this over there. So I'm just going to go, like, right? Well, let's make it something even closer, just, just because. So that binds it. Did, did I just bind that right? Was it? Was it? And then what? Shenanigans! I declare shenanigans. It's the Vasky hack. Whenever Vasky is watching you in stream. It makes everything work right, like it should. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Vasky. Way to ruin like 30 minutes of messing around with it the other day and it not working. So now if I do that again... Does it move the same block? Or does it move a different block? What? So it keeps track of how many blocks ahead of it it is instead of moving like that same block again and again and again. Interesting. Very neat. That'll be fun for the quarry stuff. Now I've got to figure out how to do this. So the way I had it before is I had the sticky pistons facing down, right? But I had like, like that. So we had dropper facing up and sticky piston facing down. And I had redstone on top of the dropper. So it triggers both at the same time. But now I have it the other way around. So I've got sticky pistons facing up. And I don't think if I power redstone signal in between that it'll work for the piston, will it? So what I have to do is instead like power the block in between. By sending power directly to the dropper. Okay. And we'll do kind of the same setup where we have the droppers. Like that. Actually, hold on a second. Um, where's our Britannia book? I just remembered something that is, it is pretty crucial for this. Um, this, this, 1632, damn it. You had to make it 16, didn't you? what I could do is have two setups. Yep. Oh, but no, because tiny planets interfere with each other. Dang it. We'll just keep going like this. And send signal to... Actually, if we send signal to... The piston, does that also trigger the... Okay, so we can either send signal to the top or to the bottom. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does though. It does 
just really because I wanted to automate putting items into that but the only way I can think to do that then would be to use the red string containers or red string dispensers what about if we do this is it truly sending the signal to the block or just like a block around it okay so it's just sending signal to like a block around it not activating the block itself Spoofer, comparator, electrifier, dispenser, container. Because I want to be able to, you know, replenish these. I think I'm going to have to do something other than dispensers. I think that's really the only way we're going to be able to do this is with something other than dispensers or droppers because droppers are going to just drop one item at a time a funnel I could do multiple funnels and then be able to change which item it looks for in the the network. Or what else could I do? Because the design I came up with was based on like very basic stuff. I wasn't into Corpia networks at all. Oh, you know what? I could so use these things. What are they called again? Force relays? Ish. I could use them ish. Hmm. But not really necessary. I think that's going a little too far on this one. Overthinking. Overthinking what I need to do here. switch it around to the way we had it set up in the other area. So let's see, it's going to be pistons right here I believe and they'll, yep, that should be right. and pick up what needs to be picked up. And droppers up here. With redstone on top of them. Oh hey, and check this out. So um, then we might even be able to see if we have some one interceptor, really? <sighs> Let's make uh, a couple more of those. And four. Don't tell me I'm out of droppers. I'm out of droppers. Goodness, there is such an easy recipe. Oops. Several, please. Thank you.
Oh, wait, these drop items up, no, but they insert stuff in inventory two slots below them. Okay. I have. Uh, I cut still some of those sparks just for. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I had going on over here. So basically, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do storage. Um, just like I'm gonna put it all along the bottom area somewhere. But how am I gonna do the storage? So basically, I'm gonna have a separate colored network with. Oh my God, Road Dog, what is up? Wow, I'm getting a lot of icons spam today. Oh goodness. Uh, so I'm gonna have storage, right? And then if it's something that can be crafted, I'll have this comparator kind of stuff. And going to like a timer. And the timer is going to go to a funnel that's going to look for that item somewhere else in the system. And if it's not anywhere else in the system, so it can't put it in the chest, then it will trigger an interceptor like this. The interceptor will, will then take that and then get a redstone signal and craft it. Like for instance, this is intercepting a request for planks. And when it intercepts a request for planks, the funnel requests wood, which goes through a single crafting slot and turns it into planks. So that's what we're going to be doing with that. So many sparks, you have no idea how many sparks this is to, like, way too many sparks. All the Corpia stuff is like, you have to have a ton of sparks for anything. Uh, let's put that there, just for testing purposes, and put these guys up here. Whoop. Did I just do that? Yes. Okay. So let's just see if this is going to work. Um, I don't think that sending signal up. So that might it might be that we need to put the uh, redstone on top of there too, which would be no big deal. Um, can we reach down here? No, too far. Darn it. Do you have any other any other sparks? Please, please, just one more spark. Uh, nope. We gotta make one. I'm pretty sure they changed, so I'm just going to... connected up there. Well, it's still too far away from this guy. Shoot. Let's see if we replace him if it syncs up maybe. Yeah? No. Oh, that's one thing I need to uh, check out on our Corpia. Uh, basics of Corpia. Master Spark network, yada yada, in which they communicate with each other. 
<laughs> you buy sparks add them to the network uh, okay so they can they do chain off of each other that's good to know let's see if we need to move it down like two maybe Great. Now that's not synced up either one. What about what did I just pick up? Oh, cobblestone. Oh, and it's not showing a sync because there's no. Master, yes. Great, anyway. So what I'll probably do is... Let's do a signal on top of each of these. And indicate like either stone or wood. And that way it'll keep the dropper filled up with either stone or wood. Oh, or could I do it with red string containers also? Because I don't think there's anything... Take this? No. Oh, shucks. Boah ha ha. Okay. That's fun. I love those things too. But yeah. Heard you, Ranker Carnation. So we're gonna have is the like hourglass. It's gonna trigger that, and we can just take that signal and go up with it. I think we can use half slabs to move signal. Up. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can't. <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll just do basic redstone. There we go, transportation like that. So then when we have Oh. Huh. That's not expected. I thought it would power the uh bottom side too, if we do it like this. Okay, that does go up with a half slap. Good to know. We'll do like this. Okay. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna have run a Mars. I'm gonna go right in here somewhere with this right here. Mars there. Okay. That should work. And just to see, let's see here. Go and boop, boop, boop. throw down some stone. to have mana do shocks. Why does everything have to have mana all the time? Why can't it just be happy with it? with the way things are, you know? It's gotta be so needy. Alright, we 
I'm just throwing this down like right here, I believe. Nope, not the center. Right there. So bind mode, we're gonna bind. To there and you don't have to be bound so you're fine all right you okay with that yep it's okay with that and we'll just fill up a mana tablet mana tablet there we go. oh we actually have one imagine that I'm just setting up uh, auto pure daisy road dog. Uh, basically, it is something that will be able to take stuff like stone and wood when provided stone and wood. Seriously? Ronomaris is too tiny. Okay. Let's see if we have a regular sized one. I think they're all tiny ones though. Oh, we do have a regular sized. Yes. Eight item frames, and we need to figure out how we need to chain those sparks. We need a couple more sparks, I believe. I guess we'll make three more. Why not? One, two, three. Oh, four. My bad. Four. And what else did we need? What else did we need? Something, something. Item frames. Well, there's something we're actually kind of low on at the moment, too. We need to go kill some cows. <sighs> yep. Out of leather. Great. Or instead of killing some cows, kill some zombies and convert it into leather. Is that it? Is that really all I needed? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. yet we're just gonna go with stone on each of these okay so that should auto feed once we get it connected so let's see what we can do about getting it connected eh? um I think it was like do it over here good maybe oh yep I see it oh what a tingle web we weave okay oh. 
<laughs> it went all over the place. Um, but I didn't put the stone in there. That's cool. So the, the top ones triggered before the bottom ones did. I like that. I like that a lot. That makes me happy. I'm so happy. And for aesthetic reasons, we're just gonna use um, Alf glass. Huh. And uh, except for right here, this will have to be a solid block. Nope. Okay. Rub. Peter is going to have to go there to power that so that it can take the signal. Oh, ball sack. I can't believe I just did that. Is it still floating under me? It is. Good stuff. Okay. Feathers we don't need. I <sighs> that happens. Okay, can. And can we put like redstone here? Oh, we can. Good. Just to make sure it doesn't. Okay. And that should have put. Yep. Perfect. So that's going to pull stone from down yonder way. Now we just gotta get the uh, redstone stuff worked out for it. We're done with the sparks. Should be good there. We'll keep elf glass on us. Done with the pistons. No more droppers. No red string containers. We'll need some of those guys. Good for those. Uh, some repeaters. Yep. Comparator? I don't think we need a comparator. Uh, definitely need redstone. Probably some torches. We'll get on stone. <coughs> we don't need pedal and mortar. We are wand of the rod of the lands. Don't need our personal computer right now. And I think we're good for buckets. And I don't think we're going to need the hammer. Okay. There, now we got a little more inventory space. Great. Okay, so we're going to have... Oh, here's the difficult thing. Ah. Uh, Actually, harvest it. We're gonna have a uh, boar potency uh, redstone mana spreader. But how is it going to be connected? So first of all, we need to have this right here. The redstone going to that. Was that our recessive? It was, wasn't it? Nice. Did I just pick up stone? Alright, magnetization, you're going off for a second. Actually, no, you're not. I'm just kidding. I would never take you off. I love you so much, magnet. And that's actually going to look a little goofy over there, so we're going to move it over to the side. Because having it hang off the side is going to be kind of funny. I'd rather have it... Uh, I'd rather have it around back. That way it's less than our view. Okay, so we'll have this repeater here. Then redstone there. 
Okay, so it's gonna power the, the top bits. I can put like this there. So this signal up to be uh, some redstone torches if we want. Whoops. Randomaris, what, what you? What's the hold up there, buddy? I still see spots for you to lay stuff down there. Why are you not? Are you out of mana for your mana pool? I know you had plenty of mana. Chiseled living rock. It's definitely not a range issue. Oh, uh, I'm silly. Okay, that's fine. I know why it's not working, so we're okay. Um, stupid. So we will have like a. Let's go ahead and get the redstone mana spreader and potency lens. Redstone mana spreader. Bore, 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 potency. There we go. The difference between the two is one will break through eight blocks, whereas the other will only break through four. And grab another mana pool. back here somewhere like right here I believe and like that okay is that how I did it I think so okay yeah that's perfect yeah that's exactly how I had it nope that's not it at all <sighs> Don't you guys just enjoy me sometimes? Like, seriously. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. No, no, that's not it at all. Okay. There we go. Now we gotta get the uh, redstone stuff flowing. <coughs> Do that. That's probably not how we're actually gonna be doing this. So we're going to have that get triggered, but it's got to be at a little bit of a delay. Um, how many exactly I do not recall, I think it's like five or six repeaters that I had for a delay. side. Like that. So we can kind of go like, I don't know. How's that going to work? Can we go... Um, I gotta be careful because... Yep, it, it is going to have to go behind it. this figured out eventually. Just bear with me. Doesn't really matter where it points, but we'll just have it shoot right there.
go to the dooms. It's gonna go either up or down, one of the two. But it's not gonna trigger that for that. And then we'll have to have something crazy like that. Uh, maybe not even do that. Wait, what? Can't do that. Hmm. Or not. Uh, yeah, I do like... Nope, that's not gonna be... That's not how we want it. We want... Yep, to power that. Do I have a regular spark do? Is that going to... Oh my god, that synced up to the pool. That was recessive. Nice. So do you have mana? Ha ha ha, yes. Great. That's what I was hoping. Okay. Get a little more working room than that. Go like this. There. Okay. But I think that might also connect down there, which is going to be an issue. Uh, but it won't be an issue if I do that. I just want to test the uh, let's do a mana spreader to see if it is going to shoot. Okay, that does trigger it. Good. Very nice. Okay, that should do it then. Um, basically, what we have is we're going to have an hourglass that's going to sit up here. We'll go see if we have one extra in here, maybe. And we'll need some sand, which we can get sand from Soul Sand. We need two minute delay. Oops. But let's test this before we do anything. Okay, so test it. We're just going to have a button. Right there. Nope, that did not work. Uh, why did I say that did not work? Because it sent signal down, so it's not a good place for a button. <sighs> It's a rouse, a rouse. Okay, we did have to have that there. I guess it was this block we were going to put the button on? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, break these guys. Alright, now let's see here. We'll give it a minute. Looks like the autofill stuff is working good, though. Yep. Very nice. It's basically taking stone from down here. Oh. That's going to be a problem, though. Um. Let's get the limbs that it needs. Alright, let's make a chest. Double chest, even. 
That's the only bad thing about using vanilla. Because I can't use storage drawers. QQ. Okay. So we'll do one of those. Put some here. An extra nope, but I'm pretty sure we did. Have an extra spark or three, okay. Okay, so every two minutes, this will happen. Oh, fail, really? Of course, it doesn't work when I'm trying to demonstrate. Was it? Was it a mana issue? No, you definitely had mana. That signal should have gone through there. Oh, it doesn't go down. Crap. That's not good because I think... Um, hmm. I think if this one is a solid block that that's going to trigger on the first go. Let's see. Oh, crap. Take off our magnet for a second. And then, and then, and then. There we go. Close enough. Yep, it triggered it. Okay, so that's the problem with having a solid block there. I guess we could uh, instead, like, move the mana spreader somewhere. Oh, yes, let's get our living rock. Our lovely living rock. So. What if so we had it like that? That cuts it off there, doesn't it? Yep, but we powered this, which would then power that. So if we made this a solid block, ha! Okay. We got this. Whoops. Put our magnet back on. Okay, so we're going to take that. Wait, what? Hold on. Take that. This slabby. So that should send signal to there, which is then going to go through here. To that, like that. Which should then activate them. Okay. Maybe? We need 
need to do one less by doing something like this. Pretty sure that works. But we got lots of redstone. Alright, just waiting for it to convert again. And then we cross our fingers and hope it works. Still no redstone signal. Okay, so there's a quick fix for this. I just can't test it. But I know it'll work, so. And we'll still have to have that right there. Unless we do it the other way around. Nope, then we'd still need to have it there. Okay. So, last thing we need is a hopper hawk to pick up the living rock. Um. Let this go a couple rotations just to show it works and then we'll call it good. <laughs> as much as I like to sit here and piddle with this more, we're getting close to the end of the stream, so. So let's see it go. Oh crap. Do, 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 do. Take off our, eh, we'll leave the magnet on. Hang out over here and watch. Watch the soul sands of time. So just to recap, we have the run of Mars, run in an arse, whatever it's called. And it is whatever their items or entities. Any entity or block, whatever that's dropped on it. It's going to try to take it and place it on top of the block that's directly underneath it or if it's not a floating version underneath the dirt sand that it's on top of. So in this case it's the chiseled living rock. So it places the stone on top of the chiseled living rock which then gets converted by the pure daisy. And then Every two minutes, that counter ticks, these pistons go down, pull it up, it spits out some more stone to get planted down there, and then triggers this four potency uh, mana spreader to break all the living rock. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What happened there? I saw it go. Did it get... <laughs> I got one of the repeaters wrong. Yeah. Just gotta debug the system sometimes, you know? What's up, Shadowhawk? How's it going? another minute. So as you notice the mana spreader is kind of on a delay. Uh, it's on a delay because if it triggers right away 
Then it shoots and it hits the extended manus or extended um, pistons and does pretty much nothing. It basically just hits those and dissipates because it doesn't break extended pistons for some reason. Oh yeah, long weekend in Seattle. What you doing up there? I like to visit Seattle sometime for work. But I don't see it happening anytime soon. Okay. And well, like ten more seconds and it should should do it. Come on. Do it. I mostly want to watch what the new spider does. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. So let's see, that's mission accomplished. We got this set up in our new location now. And with Alf Glass, too, nonetheless. None of that scrubby mana. Mana glass stuff. We got the real stuff now. We got alpha glass. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Yes. That is alpha glass. You know, I probably could instead of going like that have it go back and forth through this way. What if we? What if we did that? Like da, 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 da. then we come off of this, and it would go like. Can we? We can't. Can we? We'll do, we'll do like. Hi. Hi. I'm almost done. Okay. baby. Scratching my belly. Do a border border. Border border. Border. Do you want to see this? Do it one more time. Any second. Any minute. All right, we'll oh! It did something. It's doing something. <gasps> it did nothing. Okay. Yep. So that works then. West Pets said hi. Hi, West. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll go ahead and end the stream for tonight. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy your week, and I'll see you again on Friday. Friday! Friday. Bye.